Welcome to the 12 Days of Science Clause, Day 2, Two Spinning Knives. In this video, we're going to talk about motion and how things move and how they change their position with forces. There's been some great scientists who've studied this from Aristotle to Galileo to Isaac Newton and even Einstein. You can learn a lot more by studying those scientists. So this is a cool thing I have right here. It's a gyroscopic spinning top. And once it's spinning, it resists falling over because it has something called angular momentum. In fact, if I try to push it over, it won't even spin it over. I can even set it down. So I got this guy spinning. Let's see what happens if I can get it a string like right here and bring this string up and put it on the string. And it will keep spinning on this string because of its angular momentum resisting falling over even though gravity is pulling on it. Of course, eventually it, it will fall over when it stops its spinning. Let's see what happens here. Still spinning and it will start to process on around. So things that spin have stability. So things that spin are supposed to be easy to keep in the air. I don't know how good I am at this. Let's see if I get it going and get it going and get it going. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, uh, I know someone that's better at this than I am. Mary. So once we have it on its axis, this momentum is going to keep it right where it needs to be. And we can go up, we can go down, and it's going to stay on. But if we go sideways, it's going to fall off. But maybe if we can get it going, maybe we can even get it to go straight up in the air and come back on it. We're going to go up in the air and it still goes. Okay, so we can learn a lot about how things spin. So here is a pretty cool wheel you'll find in a lot of science classes. And forces act upon it if I let go. It comes down because of gravity. But if I can add some spin to it, now we're getting something called angular momentum, which is pretty cool. This should stay in this position, but then torque around, and it stays upright. When things move, just like Isaac Newton studied and Galileo studied, there are forces of nature at work that you can learn. In fact, let's go outside and see some forces of nature of spinning. So, when you spin around like this, there are forces of nature acting upon you. And these have been studied by a lot of people. So let me see if I can stop here. And what's gonna happen if I add some more mass and I hold these out, I should go slow because now I have a large rotational inertia. And my velocity or my spin is kind of slow. But watch what happens when I change this. Ready? Did you see me spin up? And I can slow down by moving these weights. Now, this is a force you need to know. What will happen if I add more weights, more mass? Here's some, some 20 pounders. Let's see, here we go, right? There we go. Wow, this is a lot. I better start with them out. And I'm going pretty slow velocity until I bring them in. Whoa! <laughs> better slow it down or bring them in. And you probably have seen this on television. Ice skaters make good use of this. But I better stop before <laughs> you see some more forces of nature. Let's take a look at Allison, our preschool teacher. Science is everywhere, guys. Are you ready to see how gravity brings you down? Let's do some twirling.
to a motion, we gotta do two spinning knives. 